Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Season 2 of Feed the Beast. As I had mentioned in yesterday's Dragon Age video, I have decided I'm going to be playing Monster. Now, if you guys had not caught the last video, or you're just coming into my new into my Minecraft series, a little explanation is in order. What I mean by Season 2 is I had decided to upgrade to Minecraft 1.6.4. I was originally doing Direwolf 20's uh, 1.5.7 mod pack and although I didn't I barely scratched the surface on most of those mods in there I figured if you're gonna play feed the beast why not play it updated this way so if I do something you didn't know about or if I happen to research something you were kind of curious about or you know thought about and I get into it you'll be able to what is it you'll be able to uh, integrate it there it is into your own minecraft worlds now, I haven't done much anything. You can see I put in a couple cheats in the beginning there. Um, this is Spawn. I moved around, did some sound tests just to make sure that everything's sounding all right and whatnot. So, that is Spawn right now. Um, I didn't break anything, I didn't move anything, whatever. I did it in uh, creative mode just so I can kind of see the quality and such. Uh, I am using the Sorax texture pack, and this may change. Uh, being it is a high def texture pack, it does take a little bit more of the processing. So, if I have too much problems with lag, that will be changing. Again, also, still uncertain about streaming. Um, I have streamed a monster server before, so I should be able to, assuming my computer is nice to me that specific day. Um, these first couple episodes are going to be kind of tedious, as I am just kind of getting the start built up, but I wanted to make sure that everyone got a chance to see them as not everyone can attend my twitch streams and although i can record and stream at the same time i feel like i'm gonna kind of keep that for uh something else that idea i don't uh i feel like it kind of takes away from it being especially i don't record the chat if i was recording the chat bar then maybe you know when i talk to random people on there you would kind of understand what's being said and talked about Ah, oh, what other announcements do I need to make? Um, there are quite a few more mods in this one, and I have decided I am not going to do a dwarf playthrough, which means I will be doing some building above ground, some underground. I will kind of be doing a kind of mix and match of both. There are a lot more blocks for me to play around with that are pretty fied, and there is an awesome mod that we are going to be getting into once we start building our, well where we're going to live. I don't want to call it a house or a castle or whatnot. We'll start small and we'll work our way towards it. Um, there are quite a few plants that are involved in this mod pack, and I don't know if I will make an enormous farm for them because that could take up a massive, and I'm sure you guys do not want to watch me do farming. Now, that being said, there is one type of farming I will be doing. We will be getting into that once that is prevalent. Um, the small look around I had of my spawn point shows I think I might actually just build here. As you can see in the pause menu, there is a, a beehive right there. You know, you know how much I loved the bees in the last pack we did. Hopefully those have either changed for the better, or they just won't be in the way as much. Uh, I think that is all the announcements for this video, so I might make this video a little bit longer than normal, just to accommodate so you can watch these you know, actually watch. I'm going to try and keep, once again, to 20 to 30 minute episodes. Knock on wood. Sped up parts may make it longer and or shorter. So, without further ado, why don't we go and collect resources, and I can show you one mod that uh, I feel is amazing. Okay, so, here we go. Let's get into this, and we are spawned in a meadows pack. As you can see, we've got mobs that have spawned all over the place. Looking up on our map, I may be changing that so not so many spawn points show. Looking around here, we got a nice little clearing right here. I think I'm going to start right here. And uh, we're going to just punch up some <clears throat> wood as you would. I got a little bit of lag there as something was popping up. I don't know if that's just that achievement lag that I tend to get often or if I'm actually lagging out because of textures. Um, there, there is very often... There's quite, this lag is actually a lot more frequent. And as you can see, here's our first basalt. We have some basalt, as I hear it called, more often than not. Let's get into this menu. Um, like I said, I don't know if it is, in fact, the Sorax texture pack that is making this go slow. 
if that is the case, it will be getting gone and getting gone quickly. So let's get this stuff started here. Uh, next episode, for certain, I will be taking off the Storex Texture Pack just to judge the difference in speeds and lags and such. Um, I didn't actually need the pickaxe, but I, well, I did, but I did, it wasn't my first intentions. We needed the wooden axe. There's our NEI. All right, so we don't have tree decapitator, as you can see, it didn't clear it out. But we have, I have, I don't know what mod this is, to tell you the truth. But we have quick decay trees. Whole oh, nice. That's just, I mean, that's basically tree decapitator with a little bit of work. Obviously, you have to get rid of the wood blocks that are supporting it. So you still, you know, for the larger trees, you still kind of have to climb up and get things done yourself. But that is not entirely a bad thing. See? Makes clearing out quick and easy. Mm. Well, it's just that much better. So, let's get some of this rubber wood. And that has a pretty texture. I like this texture pack. Unfortunately, we could not get the John Smith texture pack, as it is not supported. Well... I'm sure I could if I really tried and really wanted it. However, the Sorex texture pack was an easy find. It's something new. I kind of enjoy it. Um, it is not as realistic looking as the John Smith texture pack, which is one of the positives that I enjoyed. However, it gives it a nice look. And see, we got our first rubber sapling. We only got the one, unfortunately. But we've got plenty of rubber trees to look through, and not all the trees decayed because they're t still kind of supported by these tree blocks there. <clears throat> However, I think it is time to start getting ourselves a hovel, and by that I mean I want to dig myself a nice little spot, or maybe I'll build it. Build myself a nice little hut right here. So, we're going to make it out of oak, just because... It's oak, and we're probably going to have a lot of it. As you can see in the mini-map, we've got look what looks like a... Uh, I don't know if it's a desert, or I think that's like snowy area over there. I think we got a jungle if we go farther up that way. We're in the middle of a... Apparently this is meadows, but we're in the middle of a nice, you know, foresty area. Uh, there are We're not in a extreme hills biome, which is very unfortunate. However, I will, I will deal without, as uh, I feel we can survive. Now, I am going to make, I do need to get some stone before I get into this, because I kind of want to show you what the, as you can see, that's what cookstone looks like, looks really nice. Cobblestone is not, unfortunately, I don't think we actually, no. Because we're using wood, we cannot collect uh, basalt blocks. So, for our first building, we are going to just kind of mine out a little hole right here. And limestone already. Man, plenty of colors. And uh, once we start actually either building or adding on to our house of sorts... Oh, man. We will definitely be adding more colors, changing walls, stuff like that. If I remember, uh, you all know me and my wonderful ability to start something and then never finish it because I get distracted. We're just going to kind of go outskirt this copper because I don't think you can collect copper with wood. Which is fine by me. This is probably going to spawn bad guys and I'm probably... Oh, cool. And I'm probably really going to regret this. In fact, I know I'm going to regret this. We can collect this with... Yes, we can. Okay. So, I won't regret it as much. <laughs> We're going to get our three jungle wood planks because it's rubber wood. And we are going to make torches so we do not die. It's nice that we've got some resources here already. Very handy. Definitely going to be good for a start. We got some basalt, like I said, which is cool. And now we have some cobblestone. I want to make a pick, a cobblestone pick for that. Just so we have it now. Uh, this is just going to be... Actually, no. You know what? I am going to do what I originally intended. I'm just going to make a shack. Um, and by shack, I mean I'm just going to dig myself a hole. 
That's exactly what I wanted you to do, Sticks. Thank you. Just indecision, I tell you. This way, just so I have a small spot and I can actually start collecting things to start digging. So we're going to do it right here. I'm going to move... I need this dirt, though. Because even though it is just a temporary shack, I do want it to look somewhat good. And by somewhat good, I mean I want it to... Be relatively, whoa, pleasing to the eye. My mouse is acting up. That's something that uh, has just been an issue for me as of late, is my mouse being all weird. Can I still? Yes, okay. And then we'll go down. We'll go down like two. Shale. New stone. So we'll go into there. Now that we have down, I can easily pick that up. Um... This will be my doorway, leading into my hut. And this will be five? Yeah, we'll do five, so. We'll go two this way, one. Or not. Okay, so. <laughs> that was an oops. Let's go a little bit lower. Now we got some shale, stone, and iron. I mean, we, we are in a nice resource place. I'm going to just kind of... I do hear that lava. It does sound very close. So I do need to be careful about what I cut up. Because the last thing I truly want right now is to open up a lava pit and then be drowned in flaming death. Uh, another cool thing about this mod pack and about a lot of the later mods is in the bottom left corner, you can see how many hits your tools have. As you can see, that kind of just died out itself. We're going to use the stone pick to now continue our mining. And like I said, this is basically just going to be an area for me to store things until we can start building on our structures. And of course, I find a block I cannot break. That is that is amber, actually. This right here in the center? And kind of, kind of center? And I do need one more back, of course, because, you know, why not? All right, so let's just dig around it. It's in a very crappy position, and it's just amber. It really ha doesn't have as much of a use as non-amber, but, hey, I can even just try and break it. It's not going to give me anything, which is all right. I can handle that. Goodbye, Amber Block. All right, so we now have our little... No, because I didn't go far enough this way. Like a derp. And I can't tell if this is surface lava or if it is, in fact, underground lava. Either way, I think it is lava we can at least pump when we want to. So I'm going to put a torch there, a torch there, and we now have our safety area. Now, I do have cheats enabled. So I can set spawn into there, or I can, if I have a bed, I can do the whole bed thing. But right now, we will be setting spawn here. Just so, uh... Spawn point. And by spawn point, I mean spell wrong. Spawn point. There we go. Okay, so now our spawn is set here, and we can always come back here if we need to. So, let's put that there. I kind of want to put, like, a ring of dirt right here. There. Okay. And then we can, well, I'll make a door right here so that we can close it as we need to. All right. So, wooden door. <clears throat> and here we go. We are now protected. Kablamo. Yes, we now have a hovel. This is our little home for right now. We will be building actual, an actual base of sorts. How I'm going to do it, I'm not sure. Uh, a lot of it's going to be, I'm going to be cleaning out some of this wood. But for right now, we, now that we have our stone pickaxe, we're going to start gathering some resources. And by resources, I more mean building blocks. Now, does not mean I'm going to pass these up. I am going to want this ore, and I am going to want various other things. 
So instead of going into industrial craft power first, I think I'm going to hit the, the thermal expansion and get redstone power, as that seems to be more efficient, or at least easier to get to. It's still going to cost me my coal, so we will have to find a way to uh, produce more energy and store a higher stockpile of that said energy. And as I do not see any source of oil, of, uh, oil right now, I don't think fuel is going to be an option. Make some more torches because it is significantly dark now and it is even getting dark upstairs so we do have to be careful of that put a little spot there and things will spawn all around us and because we are in a forest they will not die in the daytime sad times Luckily, this limestone is very easy to break. It goes with uh, the quartz. I mean, like I said, there's just so many colorful building blocks now that it is going to be a lot more fun decorating my bases and what other fun times I can come up with. Now, in my feed, in my monster server that I play on, um... I originally had started just digging out these quartz things, and they always seem to lead to more resources. That being said, that's simply because you are mining out a large area of what was once stone. And if you do that in vanilla ma, in a without all these geostrata stones, you're going to eventually find resources. And I really don't want anything coming in to say hi to me right now. So uh, we are going to block that up. <clears throat> and while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to build me a crafting table right here. Just so I can make more picks as I need them. I will I will get the Tinker's Construct, and I will work on that. Um, as you can see, there is a new type of sandstone, which has an awesome look and there went my pick I do believe that these stones let's find out now actually are interchangeable with regular stones so you it's not picky as to when you're making new stick if, if all you have is sandstone you can make a sandstone a quote unquote sandstone pick or limestone in the case of me we're getting a lot of this amber which is fine we are going to have to do like a wall of sorts, and uh, what I mean by wall is as i shown in my my last set of videos, I would go through and be like, okay, so we've got, what is this? Sandstone, cobblestone. Bam. That's what, ooh, that looks pretty. And then we've got basalt and all that good stuff. And I'll put signs and everything that'll show me what it is, even though I can look at it and be like, oh, that looks cool. Oh, that looks cool. That kind of stuff there. Are you... It must, it must be red. And it looks like we have a wisp already. Sigh. I, I cannot... I, I cannot begin to explain the amount of sadness that is. Ooh, look at that uranium. Looks really cool. Still got some... Uh, here is the mod pack for the marble that uh, I really enjoy. It's the chisel does not work with all blocks. It works with vanilla and other chisel blocks, I do believe. Which is fine, as uh, it still gives us plenty of choices. And I will show you more into that on what that accounts to in due time. Now, I do kind of want to build a castle. Um, although, as my longtime viewers will know, when I talk of building a castle, that is about as far as I take it, because I never get around to doing it. I either get too caught up in digging myself a nice little house, or I end up giving up on that specific map. Hopefully, last last season, or the first season of Feed the Beast, 
will be a good enough show to tell you that uh, I can, in fact, hold to my word and build bases. So how is our outsides doing? Are we, like, completely swamped now? Doesn't look like it. There's a zombie right there, though. You can see I'm an angry zombie. Grrr, I see you. Hi. I like your shirt, actually. You have a really cool shirt. I don't really need you to drop your stuff. Oh, I got a little too close, though, apparently. Oh, that was a regular zombie. You both have really cool shirts. But I think what I'm going to do is I am going to kill them. Unfortunately, there is a mod that is not in Monster that was actually in Horizon that I really enjoyed. It is... Or at least I do believe it is not. Ah. Oh, definitely... You are a very hairy zombie, my friend. Not you. You're... You're... Pretty much, you know, normal. But this zombie, watch, I don't, I know it's going to kill him, so it doesn't really matter. Now, unfortunately, there is a skeleton, we will not be able to take him on. Sad, sad, but true. And because we don't really have much in the way of armor, we are pretty much in trouble. And we don't really have food, we have a apple. So I'm probably going to have to... Either A, turn it today, B, outweigh the time, or C, catch you next time when uh, we continue our fight. Actually, no, I joke. We still have a few more minutes before I really want to cut this episode short. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit more of the sandstone. Um, I'm hoping that I will be able to stream this so more, so this tedious mining and uh, even some of the building can be done during stream. And also, I will be able to record the stream so that I can do like a highlights video or like a sped up video so you can see various parts of it in which I will I have totally just linked into my base that I don't know how I feel about that like hmm like I accept that 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 I accept you however I still don't know how I feel. Like, hmm. Whatever. Well, now that we've got all this, we can now pump stuff into a chest for right now. So let's actually build one. There you are. So let's build us a nice little chest. We're also going to need to build a... That's shale. we got quite a bit of shale, actually. There we go. A furnace. So, let's build ourselves a furnace, and uh, one chest is definitely not going to be enough. I do believe, I don't know if we have all the extra chests or not. Um, let's see what the uses of chests are. Normally, uh, chest expansion recipes are used. They use a chest, uh, hopper, trap chest, 46 different recipes here. We have another hopper, um, Iceman backpack. Why? I don't understand. Uh, Trackman's backpack. Item filter. I wow. There's just so much. I don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? 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 Luggage. Huh? Bunch of sticks, a chest, and a diamond. What? And a donation station. That is awesome. Um, various other things. Wow. Just, wow. And, of course, we get the reinforced chest, which I think are just stronger. They're a little bit bigger, but, uh, you can't organize them unless it's changed. Nothing else we really need in there. Let's put our chests down. Like so. Put them there. I did not want to double-click, but oh well. I don't need the rotten flesh. Oak sapling, you can go in there. Coal can go in there. Rubber wood, cobblestone. And we'll just throw everything in here for right now until we need it for later uses. However, 
I am going to end the episode here soon. Next time, I will, uh, probably have, uh, well, there probably won't be much next time. I'll probably just record another gathering resource episode where I gather some more stones and talk about my plans and what I want to do and ideas. What was that? Hmm? Weird. Um, <clears throat> basically, I'm probably going to be setting up a little Tinker's Construct corner right there. Just so I don't have to constantly be making picks. I can just repair them. And uh, we'll probably be gathering more resources. And I will be talking about the future of this Let's Play. Um, plans, ideas, and uh, suggestions that I can probably take from you guys. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so, so, so very much for watching. Hopefully... You will enjoy this new mod pack. I know I have so far. I uh, haven't really seen too much lag with the texture pack, so maybe we can play it with the texture pack. And hopefully I'll be able to stream it, and if that's the case, I will catch you in the streams. Um, I did want to talk about a possible stream schedule. Uh, uh, it's something I will pick up in the next episode, as I will be recording it shortly. So, hopefully we'll get into talking about that, and uh, you'll be able to catch that, and you'll You'll be able to give me some suggestions on it. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so, so very much for watching yet again. As always, I'm your Rowan. Happy gaming, guys.